Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the deflection using double integration. So unlike the previous set, uh, where we used boundary conditions and differential equations, we're now using a method of double integration. Now the process is very simple. All you want to do is find the reactions using a free body diagram of your system. We're then going to find the moment equation. We're then going to sub that moment equation into this formula here. We're then going to integrate that formula twice, meaning we'll get two constants, um, or depending on the problem, four or six. You're then going to use all the boundary conditions of your system to find all the unknowns and then you can eventually find um, the general equation for your displacement and then also your maximum deflection. So for our case we're going to be doing just a standard UDL. So this is case one. So let's say this UDL is 20 kilonewton per meter and let's say the length of this beam is 10 meters. Okay, and it's just this simply supported beam pin and roller. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just find the reactions using a free body diagram. So very, very simply, you would see that there's 20 by 10, so 200 kilonewtons. It's, it's obviously going to be symmetrical, so we're going to get force up there, force up there, of 100 kilonewtons each. Okay, for a more complex beam, you might have to do a properly free body diagram and solving um, equilibrium, but this one's very simple. So 100 and 100, point 0.1 done. Point 0.2, we now want to find the moment equation. So for this particular case, because it's very simple, we're just going to be taking one cut. One cut will satisfy this problem to find the moment. There's only one moment equation. So if we take a cut, which I'll do down here, so we would have 100 kilonewtons going up, we have our UDL, this is at 